right, how's it going guys? Welcome back. We're gonna be doing some crazy things this, this week. We're starting off with Gary's final feeding inside the MTB crib, the final one. This is the last time that we're gonna do a feeding video for you guys to watch inside of the MTB crib. Obviously, we're gonna be moving his tank to the warehouse. We'll be doing more, but this is the final one here. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. You guys probably thought we were done with the house, but we realized we made that video saying goodbye, and then we're like, wow, we have a lot of stuff in this house that we need to move to the warehouse, a lot of things to do in this house, and we gotta clean it up. You know, this is a rental piece of property, so this ain't gonna fly. Hey guys, today we're driving the, uh, we still don't have a name for her. You haven't named it yet? No. Bro! I, I posted the video yesterday. Oh, okay. So, I don't think I said that I wanted names in that one. Okay, you need a name. We need to name it, but so we're in the we're in the parent mobile. We're gonna go in here and see if they've got any goldfish. We gotta feed, obviously Gary, but we've got a lot of other fish. Here last time they had like little baby goldfish, and the the sunfish and the bluegills that we have in there absolutely loved them. So hopefully they're in here. So we're getting what do we say? Four, did we say four dozen? I think four dozen of the goldfish, which Gary enjoys those. But then we're getting another couple dozen of these like little white ones and the sunfish. The sunfish will eat some of the goldfish, but you know, the little bluegills don't have very big mouths. So we get these little ones from bluegills. Uh, you put both of them in and all the fish are fat and happy. So what we're gonna do is, Gary hasn't had any food for no, just, just a little bit, not too long. He's not dying, he's not starving. But we're gonna get some bigger ones um, to hand feed him and basically like see if we can get him to eat out of our hand. And then before we dump all these, because as soon as we dump all these and it's just like an absolute massacre, Gary goes crazy. Oh my God! Oh my God! So we're gonna pick up some more expensive, bigger ones. That way you guys can visually watch Gary eat because it's just entertaining to watch fish eat. I think we're gonna get these big top gold fish and see what, see what Gary thinks. All right, I'm gonna leave Flair once again. Um, I'm gonna go get some coffee for us. I'll pick you guys up at the front door. Be good, son. Well, right now, we got the fish. Eric looks like he parked the RV over here. He's getting some coffee, so we're gonna go walk over there, jump in the car, go back home, and feed Gary. Gary likes his goldfish. I like my Duncan. But uh, you excited? I'm excited. This is the last. This is it. This is the last time we're gonna feed Gary in his existing home, um, in our old home. And yeah. So let's get to it. I thought you were going up. Oh, we put one of these Simply Safes on here just in case. Yeah, you don't want someone to break into the tank, right? And steal Gary. <laughs> right. Simply Safe. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to feed the fish. Look, it, it's crazy though. If you guys remember, like, right when we started, right when we got Gary, he used to be so shy. He used to, like, be in the corner of the tank. He used to not be, you know, even these bluegills, they used to hide under the rocks and stuff. Now they all, they all know what's coming. They all know it's food. They all know that they're safe and they just get to eat food all day. Every day. You're gonna try to hand feed Gary? The bluegills are gonna try to get it first. So we we bought three bigger goldfish so that we can hand feed Gary. Here we go, we're gonna put this in the tank. Oh look, oh, 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 chill. chill. Dude, Gary, do you see Gary? Yeah. He went down after it. No. Get it. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. oh my god. Dude. <laughs> Dude, he about came out of the tank. Dude, I had to fend the bluegills off. Here, you go, you uh, feed them on the Oh gosh, that makes me nervous. Oh, little, little weird colored one here. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh oh, come on, Gary. <laughs> look at him. Dude, look at. This is crazy. All right, Gary. You ready? Corner. Get away, bluegills. Chill. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, dude. All right, you get the last one. Having a pet bass is so much cooler than like, when I was a kid I had like pet goldfish and just like, fish that don't like, attack things like this. It's so cool to have a pet bass. I would definitely recommend it. Oh! 
I dropped him there at the end, so that wasn't as epic, but still. Look at him. Okay, are we going? Yeah, we're going. We're just gonna go full feeding frenzy. Should we put the little ones in first or big ones? No, big ones. Do the big ones. It, I mean, like, dude, honestly, these bluegills will eat these. Yeah. Like, they're crazy how big a fish they'll actually eat. So we're gonna, we're gonna dump this bag, and we have three bags, and let the feeding frenzy begin. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my gosh. Yep, yep. The bluegills are getting it. The bluegills are chasing them. Oh my gosh. Gary. Like Gary's just feasting. A lot of them are too big for the bluegills, so they're trying, but they can't get them. Oh, oh. Look at all the glitter. Oh my. Gary's just literally. He just is just going munch, after it right now. Munching them like snacks. That is crazy. Let's get. Throw those smaller ones in there so that way the bluegills have something to eat. They're kind of having, they're having a harder time eating these bigger ones. Oh my gosh. All those bluegills, all those are gone. Dude, dude, yeah. Oh, they're all on. Man, they're just destroying them. Dude, if you look inside some of the bluegill's mouths right now, like that bluegill right there, there's a goldfish sitting in there. Look at that. Look at that. Just sitting in his mouth. Oh, he oh, spit it in too. Oh. He had two, he spit it out. Oh! Oh my goodness, man. They're just destroying these fish. These are the micro minnows. These are for the gold. Uh, these are specifically for the bluegills. We're going to toss those in real quick. Now the blue now are, the blue are eating. Gary's, Gary's still eating the small ones. He doesn't even <laughs> care. He's eating them all. Dude, that is crazy. You can just see the litter pumped out of his gills right now. Look, that is crazy. I guarantee that catfish is eating some. Is the catfish eating one yet? No, maybe not. Oh. Boom! Oh! Do you see that? Did you get it? Yes, dude. Dude, did you know we have a tiny little sunfish that's eating? Like this big. No way. Yes, come look at it. Come look at it. Look at this. I didn't know we had that. Look in the hole in that rock. See its tail? He just came out and ate one of the minnows. Like, I don't remember ever putting that thing in there. How has that thing not gotten eaten by Gary, dude? It's gotta be just hiding all the time. Dude, this catfish is just pouncing on things. I think the cool one of the coolest things in our tank is the catfish as well. He eats just like a bass. Oh my gosh, he's coughing up rocks right now. We got him when he was so small. When he was the size of something that Gary could have ate, and he grew out of that, he was smart, he stayed in the rocks, Gary didn't eat him, and now he's he's actually like a predator in the tank. He's bigger size, he eats the bluegills, I mean, he eats uh, goldfish, he eats any small fish in the tank, and he just, that's his rock, that's his chilling rock, and he kind of took over the place of the big flathead we used to have, so. We'll look at him. The last bag is going in, we're gonna try and see, oh, Gary's coming in. Look at that, oh, he's kind of, look at it, you can see him trying to swallow the goldfish. He's definitely eating a different one at the same time. He's trying to swallow two of them. That is crazy. Look at them just crunching it with their, their crushers in the back of their throat. They're sitting here just munching on it. You can literally see it. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. All right, well, definitely can tell all the fish in this tank are pretty full now. There's schools of, uh, of minnows all over the place that aren't getting eaten. So those fish will get eaten over the next couple days or weeks and... Uh, this tank is uh, about to get a new home, and we don't know. We don't really know what the plan is for the new space or what we want to do, but you know, um, no, we don't. We have no idea actually what we're gonna do. We just we've got the space, and we've got. Do a we tank. let Gary go? Do we let him go? Like, do we let all these fish go and start over? No, we gotta keep Gary. Gary's the OG man. Can we can we have a vote in the in the comments below? Let let us know. Well, should we actually let Gary go? And should we let all these fish go? Maybe not the catfish because it's a, a unique wild fish. But we can let all these fish go in a pond that is actually on the property of the, of the warehouse. So that way we can still maybe feed them and stuff like that. But let us know what you or, think. Or, or we keep. Here's them. the other option. We build a. We bag. keep them. We put this tank inside of the store. Oh, and then. And so then. there's going to be a. This is just. I'm going to give this away. There's no, 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 no. You what? No. What? You we're not giving that away yet. Well, I'm pretty sure it's already been told. It has it's already been told. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, whether whether you guys know or not, there's going to be a storefront at the warehouse that you guys can come and buy Guggen Bait and and a bunch of other stuff as well as I think we should put this inside and then you the can store. feed Gary. That way you guys can take pictures with the Gary, see Gary maybe even potentially feed Gary yourself. So that's, that's the option. Should we release them, start over, get some new fish, or should we keep them, and then you guys who live in the area could potentially come by and say what's up, feed them, and all that other fun stuff. I, that's going to give that away. We're going to give away little bits and pieces about this warehouse as we go. Um, but yes, there's going to be a storefront that you guys can come. We're going to be hosting meetups and all that other fun stuff. So 
I think that's pretty much it. Gary's just looking fat as he's ever been. Like you can he's see. He's looking belly. thick. He's, he's looking thick. He's looking with thick. Three C's. <laughs> All right, I'm off.